In probability theory, a continuous time Markov chain is a mathematical model which takes values in some finite state space and for which the time spent in each state takes non-negative real values and has an exponential distribution. It is a continuous time stochastic process with the Markov property which means that future behavior of the model depends only on the current state of the model and not on historical behavior. The model is a continuous time version of the Markov chain model, named because the output from such a process is a sequence of states. Definitions a continuous time Markov chain T0 is defined by a finite or countable state space S, a transition rate matrix Q with dimensions equal to that of the state space and initial probability distribution defined on the state space. For IJ, the elements QIJ are non-negative and describe the rate of the process transitions from state I to state J. The elements QII are chosen such that each row of the transition rate matrix sums to zero. There are three equivalent definitions of the process. Infinitesimal definition Let xt be the random variable describing the state of the process at time t, and assume that the process is in a state i at time t. Then xt plus h is independent of previous values and as h0 uniformly in t for all j using little o notation. The qij can be seen as measuring how quickly the transition from i to j happens jump chain. Holding time definition, define a discrete time Markov chain y and to describe the nth jump of the process and variables s1, s2, s3, to describe holding times in each of the states where c follows the exponential distribution with rate parameter minus qyiyi. Transition probability definition for any value n equals 0, 1, 2, 3, and times indexed up to this value of n, t0, t1, t2, and all states recorded at these times i0, i1, i2, i3. It holds that where Pij is the solution of the forward equation with initial condition P is the identity matrix. Properties Irreducibility A state J is said to be accessible from a state I if it is possible to get to J from I, that is if A state I is said to communicate with a state J if both I J and J I, a set of states C, is a communicating class if every pair of states in C communicates with each other, and no state in C communicates with any state not in C. Since the communication is an equivalence relation, the state space S can be partitioned into communicating classes. A CTMC is irreducible if the entire S is a single communicating class. Recurrence and transience A state I is recurrent if, starting in state I, the probability the process returns unboundedly many times to the state is 1. That is an estate I is transient if this quantity has probability zero. If the expected return time is finite the state is positive recurrent. Otherwise it is null recurrent. Transient behavior. Write P for the matrix with entries P i j equals P. Then the matrix P satisfies the forward equation, a first-order differential equation where the prime denotes differentiation with respect to T. The solution to this equation is given by a matrix exponential in a simple case such as a CTMC on the state space 1, 2. The general Q matrix for such a process is the following 2 times 2 matrix with alpha, beta greater than 0. The above relation for forward matrix can be solved explicitly in this case to give however. Direct solutions are complicated to compute for larger matrices. The fact that Q is the generator for a semi-group of matrices is used. Stationary distribution the stationary distribution for an irreducible recurrent CTMC is the probability distribution to which the process converges for large values of T. Observe that for the two-state process considered earlier with P given by as T infinity the distribution tends to observe that each row has the same distribution as this does not depend on starting state. 
The row vector pi may be found by solving with the additional constraint that example the image to the right describes a continuous time Markov chain, with state space, bull market, bear market, stagnant market, and transition rate matrix. The stationary distribution of this chain can be found by solving pi q equals zero subject to the constraint that elements must sum to one to obtain hitting times. The hitting time is the time starting in a given set of states until the chain arrives in a given state or set of states. The distribution of such a time period has a phase type distribution. The simplest such distribution is that of a single exponentially distributed transition. Expected hitting times for a subset of states AS. The vector car of hitting times is the minimal non-negative solution to time reversal. For a CTM CXT, the time reversed process is defined to be by Kelly's lemma, this process has the same stationary distribution as the forward process. A chain is said to be reversible if the reversed process is the same as the forward process. Kolmogorov's criterion states that the necessary and sufficient condition for a process to be reversible is that the product of transition rates around a closed loop must be the same in both directions. Embedded Markov chain. One method of finding the stationary probability distribution pi, of an ergodic continuous time Markov chain Q, is by first finding its embedded Markov chain. Strictly speaking, the EMC is a regular discrete time Markov chain, sometimes referred to as a jump process. Each element of the one-step transition probability matrix of the EMC S is denoted by Sij, and represents the conditional probability of transitioning from state I into state J. These conditional probabilities may be found by from this. S may be written as where I is the identity matrix and diag is the diagonal matrix formed by selecting the main diagonal from the matrix Q and setting all other elements to zero. To find the stationary probability distribution vector, we must next find such that with being a row vector, such that all elements in are greater than 0 and equals 1. From this, pi may be found as note that S may be periodic, even if Q is not. Once pi is found, it must be normalized to a unit vector. Another discrete time process that may be derived from a continuous time Markov chain is a delta skeleton, the Markov chain formed by observing exit intervals of delta units of time. The random variables x, x, x give the sequence of states visited by the delta skeleton. Applications Markov chains are used to describe physical processes where a system evolves in constant time. Sometimes, rather than a single systems, they are applied to an ensemble of identical, independent systems. And the probabilities are used to find how many members of the ensemble are in a given state. A master equation treatment is often used to analyze systems that evolve as Markov chains, with approximations possible for complicated systems. Chemical reactions imagine a large number n of molecules in solution in state A, each of which can undergo a chemical reaction to state B with a certain average rate. Perhaps the molecule is an enzyme, and the states refer to how it is folded. The state of any single enzyme follows a Markov chain, and since the molecules are essentially independent of each other, the number of molecules in state A or B at a time is n times the probability a given molecule is in that state. Queuing theory Numerous queuing models use continuous time Markov chains. For example, an M, M, 1Q is a CTMC on the non-negative integers where upward transitions from I to I plus 1 occur at rate lambda according to a Poisson process and describe job arrivals, while transitions from I to I1 occur at rate mu and describe completed services from the Q. Extensions a time-dependent CTMC is as above, but with the infinitesimal generator matrix a function of time Q. 